Well, hi there. Today we are talking about the R5C and how I have decided to power this thing for big shoots. Let's talk about it. Well, hi there, my name is Tony and I'm a filmmaker and a photographer in the St. Louis area and recently I picked up an R5C. Now, there's a lot of people that complain about two major things with this camera. The first one is that it doesn't have C-Log 2, which doesn't really bother me that much. I shoot in C-Log 3 on my R5, even on the C70 when I was using that pretty frequently, and I never really had trouble with the dynamic range. It still gave me a beautiful image, and so for me, that doesn't matter as much. The second thing that people complain about is the battery life. Now that's a thing, for sure it is. And so uh, I had to figure out how do I come up with a creative way to power this camera for extended lengths, uh, knowing that the battery inside of it's gonna last somewhere in between 45 minutes to an hour. Now if you're just using this camera for photos, no problem at all. But when it comes to video, this thing will drain, especially if you're shooting in like 4K 60, 120, 8K, all the things. And so I came up with a crea creative solution that I think works really well. Now, a couple things to consider is you want to find a system that works with your current ecosystem. What I mean by that is I use these Peak Design capture plates for all things. I've got a... Um, I've got a plate that I can use on my Ronin. I've got uh, a, the capture that you can put on your, your backpack, um, all of the different things. So I wanted to make sure that the system that I used still made that possible. And the other thing is I wanted it to be accessible for both um, handheld and tripod and Ronin. So those are kind of my three things that I needed it to be able to do, knowing that the battery was gonna have to be um, external. So uh, the first thing that I did is I picked up one of these small rig V-mount battery mounts. That's pretty simple, it's pretty tiny. What I love about it is it's really small. And what I did is uh, it works with Arca Swiss. So that means that your camera can slide right into this, this little slide right here, this quick release. And then I put another Peak Design capture clip on the bottom. So now I can still use it the same way with my regular camera setup. What's nice about this is it's really easy and compact. I didn't want to add a lot of space to the camera. It just pulls down and you can access the screen, which is really nice. And then what I'll do is stick one of these small rig batteries on here. Now I've bought two different sizes. I bought the 99 um, VB Pro or VM Pro or whatever it is. It's the small rig battery that's 99. And then I also bought a 50. And I can explain why I bought the two different ones. Uh, this one, the 99 Pro is an incredible battery. It will charge my laptop. It will charge my monitor if I want to put a, a, a monitor on the screen, all of those different things. So um, another thing with the 99 Pro is once I stick this on here and I start charging my battery or my camera with it, it will last like eight hours. So I never ever have to worry about power ever again. Now you can see that it's a little bit bigger, but what I like about this setup is that it adds a little weight to the camera. The big difference between the R5C and the R5 is that the R5C does not have IBIS, which for me personally is okay. I wanted cameras that kind of diversified themselves. The R5, what we're shooting on right now, is really great for photos and um, handheld photos, so you don't ever really have to use a tripod for what I do, um, things like that. With the R5C, because it doesn't have IBIS, I actually think it handles uh, like handheld much better. Um, Everybody knows about the R5 and how it gets the wobbles when you <laughs> when you get really wide. And so, uh, you know, this camera doesn't have any of that. Now, when you add a little weight to the camera, it gives it a little little depth behind it, a little, little weight to be able to get rid of some of those little jitters uh, that IBIS takes care of. So that's the way that we have that set up. The only other thing that I need then is a cable. And so I found this cable on Amazon. I'll link all of this below. None of this is sponsored. This is all stuff that I just bought with my own money. But this tiny little cable, it's a six inch with a straight on one side and then an angled on the other. And so what happens is I just stick this thing right on there and plug it in and it fits just perfectly. So if you can see this, cable management is not that big of a deal. And so now this is my tiny little 
little run and gun setup. I can use it for handheld. I can use it on a tripod the same way that I have, whether um, right now what I'm using is the Peak Design tripod. So obviously it works with that. But then if I'm using a Manfrotto 501 PL um, style, then I just use my Ronin plate that I have. And everything works. I don't ever have to swap out any kind of plates and mess around with that. And it's really tiny, which I really like. I like the fact that these, these um, tripod mounts are just really tiny. Okay, now let's talk about the Ronin. So it's a little bit different setup because you can't have that big battery sticking off the back. This is the plate that I was talking about. It's really easy, quick, quick release. Uh, small rig once again makes it. They make all sorts of great stuff. Slides on there and you're ready to go. You really can't tell the difference between this, this plate and the, um, the Ronin plate, except for it's just a little bit a little bit easier to use and I, I like how it works with 501 PLs and it just it's just a really versatile plate. So that's my setup. I'll use this for tripods, I'll use this for the Ronin, all the things. So this slides on here and what you'll see is that there's actually a little extra connection thing that I've got on right here that is perfect for sliding on these V-mount batteries. So they just slide on and away you go. Then I just use the same cable to power it and it's good to go. So what I'll do for this, this one is a little bit different. I'll use the, the angled side for plugging in to the camera and then plug in the straight edge to the Ronin. And we've got a battery that lasts for probably four hours. So that's really nice. It doesn't add a lot of weight to my setup. And I just love, I love the convenience of how this works. So. Yeah, that's about it. Now, right here, I'll turn this camera on. Um, it's saying I get like, it's saying like 10 hours right now. But once I start using the camera a little bit, it will obviously switch to uh, closer to like eight on a full battery. Um, but that's kind of my setup. So as you can see, I'm just gonna swap a lens in here. This is 24 to 105, my absolute favorite lens ever. If you have never used it, the 25 or 24 to 105 F4, it's just a great lens. I've got so much experience with this. So this is kind of my run and gun kit. I'll stick a mic on here. I'll stick a monitor on here. Just depends on what I want, but I like to keep my kit really, really light. Now with this mount, which is kind of neat, what it does is it's got a little screw here. You loosen it up and then the battery comes down. So now you can still close up your camera if you want, like that. Uh, it just, it's a really nice little setup. So curious, if you've got an R5C, how are you powering it? What, uh, what techniques have you found to save batteries? Um, now there's a couple different things that Canon has done through firmware updates to get a little bit battery life um, to improve. Uh, but for me, this is a perfect setup if I'm shooting a long form interview. Uh, one of the reasons that I bought this camera is because the R5s that I use, they just, they shut off after 30 minutes and I needed a camera that would continue to roll. Then if I have battery trouble, then that doesn't really matter. So uh, this has been a really nice setup for long form interviews, second cam that I don't necessarily have to man. Uh, it's just kind of recording and doing its thing, things like that. One more thing to consider, if you've got an R5C, I would consider picking up the new batteries that were released with the R5 Mark II. I actually ordered a couple from B&H. They haven't come in yet, but I've heard from um, a couple other YouTubers, I can link those videos, that they have had really good success with some of those video, with some of those batteries. Uh, the new batteries that Canon released, you stick it in here and you get closer to an hour and a half, which would, I mean, that's not too far off of my R5. When I'm using that for weddings, I'm, I'm using maybe two to three, maybe four batteries a day. Um, so that, that's a significant improvement if you can, if you can get like 50% more battery life out of that. Okay, what other questions do you have for me for the R5C? I am just loving this camera. And in fact, when I was doing this video, I was like, man, I don't really want to shoot video on my R5 anymore because I got so used to just having all of the features of the cinema operating system that this has. Um, it's just a great camera and I have loved, I have loved getting to know it a little bit. So other than that, um, I'm gonna end this video. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, I would love for you to join us in the conversation. Uh, leave comments below. Like I said, I'd love to know what your battery solutions are. Is this too big for you? Would you need the smaller 50? Which, 
makes it quite a bit smaller and more compact. The same exact setup works where you just plug in this, this USB-C cable. I just like how small that is. It works really well for me. All right, like the video. Good to see you.